Hey guys, what's up and uh, welcome to this video. So today we're going to compare the Android OS on the right and the uh, Tizen OS on the left. So the Samsung Z3 on the left running Tizen 2.4 and the Moto E second generation on the right running Android 5.1. So we can find out what's the difference between the both operating systems. So starting with the app drawer. So on the Tizen on the left, so you have to swipe up to view all the applications. So and although there is a, some bunch of the applications that reside on the home screen, so just swipe up in order to view the multiple apps uh, which are on your internal storage. So on the right hand side, if you look at the Android, you have simply the app drawer. So you can simply uh, click on the app drawer so you can view all the list of the applications so which is a very easier way so you can also search the apps if you want to find out let's say if I want to search for the Instagram so you can see if I type Instagram it immediately pops up and it's a very good thing and uh, on the left if you see there is a no search option is there so that you can't search any app uh, on the Tizen OS so the second thing that I'm going to talk about is the notification bar. So if you swipe the notification bar on the Android, you can you can view the uh, what are the notifications of the particular applications. If you pull down again, so you can see the all the toggles on the customization. On the left, if you swipe down, so you can view the notification panel. So where all the notification comes on here, and these are the uh, toggles so that you can manipulate the things and changes. So it's a very good thing, and. Uh, if you talk about the uh, interface, as you can see, you have to you can scroll through the home pages on Android screen. You can also uh, change the uh, look of the home screen, whatever you want. You can also customize the wallpaper. You can also add the widgets of the particular screen, like doing so. So on the left in the Tizen, you have to hold the uh, home button so that you can view the all the home pages. So on the Android you can't swipe this and you can't remove this uh, uh, what do you say the home page so until you have to re delete the all applications then only you can able to the background system on the Android will gonna be automatically gonna close this page as you can see so on the left if you see in the Tizen OS you can just simply swipe up to delete that one so if you add the page on your home screen you can just press the plus button so that the new page will then comes out so if you want to add a widget on the Tizen you can just press the tap button so that you can view the preview of the widgets so you can just the touch the widget and it only immediately adds onto your home screen so on the right you can see on the Android if you click on the widget so this will gonna be list a bunch of the widgets so let's say if I want to add a widget um, let's say Google Play if I want to add it I can hold it and I can drag onto my home screen and yes you can do like this on Android and the third thing uh, the fourth thing uh, like you say the Google search engine so the primarily the Tizen OS is a Samsung own OS so they don't come with a uh, preloaded uh, Google application so that's a sort of disappointment so right now everywhere we need a Google so as you know that and uh, you can use simply a search bar like you can search whatever you want directly on the Tizen you have to go to open the internet browser and you have to go to the google.com and search for things so that's a kind of weird thing sometimes and uh, not accurate values were going to be displayed on this phone on the right you can see these uh, running on the uh, Android so which is a Google's own operating system so that you can get a more advantages of using Android operating system so and uh, there is uh, no similarities is there in terms of the uh, both operating systems. So both operating systems are written in both C and C++ and also use the Linux uh, kernel uh, for hardware purpose. And uh, in terms of the application development, so the Android uses a Java language so that uh, uh, it needs a Java virtual machine to run the apps on the top of the Android. So on the right, the Tizen uses a C and C++ uh, to build the application so that's the reason so you can't run the Android APKs directly into this uh, Tizen operating system so a lot of people saying that you can run the Android apps directly it's, it's actually not possible and uh, I tried installing the .apk files it says that the file system the file format is not supported on this phone 
So it's kind of sends a weird message because it can't understand the what kind of the application you are trying to install. So by default, the ties in the application extension will going to be .tpk, so that you can only install the .tpk apps. So you can't install the APK files on the Tizen OS. So it's not going to be happen. Maybe in the future, Samsung may going to take a look at the Google ecosystem to leave in the market. So they have to tag up and uh, make some changes to the Tizen OS to support the Android apps and uh, that's it guys these are the differences of the both OS so I forgot to talk about the multitasking so on the Android you have to press this uh, multitasking to view all the uh, recent uh, shortcuts as you can see you can just immediately uh, press and open so as you can see it opens with a buttery smooth on the Android so when it comes to Tizen you have to hold the home button now we can see the chain kind of the uh, interface so just you can swipe down swipe down and swipe right so it will gonna be preview the all the application and as you can see it looks very very good and uh, it also very smooth compared to Android and not that great smooth compared with Android so it's some sort of point of view it, it's good so let's say uh, you can just click on the contacts it will gonna be boom it's gonna be open that one so that's a very great thing and uh, these are the changes that I had seen the especially there is a major difference in terms of the multitasking so as you can see both multitaskings are different so the Android multitasking is like a stack flow and this is kind of the chain kind of uh, thing you have to pull down pull up kind of thing it's very very good and uh, I want to I like this feature very lot I've been using this feature a lot of time and it's very great it works uh, accurately very nice and I uh, love it and uh, yeah these are the uh, features that I found some uh, interesting so yeah uh, the final thing that I'm going to talk about the adjusting a notification toggle so on the Android so there is a, some kind of the ROMs which offers you to customize the kind of the uh, what do you say the two goals so but when it comes to the Google's uh, own Android uh, operating system so it can't do anything so you can't hold you can't drag it you can't change any kind of the functions maybe in marshmallow I haven't yet tested in marshmallow maybe there is a feature in marshmallow so when it comes to the ties and you can just click on the edit so that you can add the bunch of options like holding like and dragging onto this tray it's a kind of a one handy feature so in the ties and OS and uh, I I really liked it playing with this one as you can see you can just we can use you can adjust the toggles whatever you want according to your needs so on the Android you can't do anything so maybe in uh, some kind of the uh, front end interface like touchways sense UI you can do some changes but when it comes to stock Android you can't do anything so and uh, if you swipe the left you can see the uh, Google now so there is a no Google now there is nothing is there on Tizen so it's a new fresh operating system it has to develop and uh, there is no thing uh, there is you can't get the kind of the Google now yeah. that's a weird thing and uh, yes and there is also the option which is a, say like uh, voice assistant is a kind of also missing on this uh, Tizen so I expect that uh, Samsung may have put the S voice so, but the S voice is missing in this phone and maybe in the next version maybe they have to think about it S wise so on the Android as you can see you can simply search uh, what is the weather yes it's not right now accurate and uh, yes on the Android you can search it easily and uh, like voice detection so that's very good thing so that's it guys uh, these are the uh, things um, that looks between the Android that's the difference between the Android operating system and the Tizen OS so I hope you like this video hit the thumbs up button down there if you like it and subscribe for more videos like this and uh, thank you for watching this video bye bye